Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Ree Project. And why, you may ask, have I got three pig's heads on my block? Well, I shall tell you, I am going to make a monster-sized brawn, or head cheese, fromage de tete, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you may or may not know, I collect vintage butchery equipment, and a couple of years ago, I came across this press, and it's always been my dream to fill it and I shall show you what I mean. So, looks like a normal meat press, but check this out. I suppose the shape gives it away. Let's see if I can get this lock off quickly. I mean, personally, I have never seen one like this before. It is actually shaped like a pig. Just check that out, hey? even got its feet, its trotters, and inside there, right in the bottom, if you can see, it's got a tail. Yeah, it's had a bit of use, it's old. I don't care, I need to do this. I think it's gonna look absolutely epic. I mean, a really, really, really cool press. And what we need to do then is bust these pig's heads down. I'm gonna try, I don't know, what I'm thinking, does it need all three, or two, or two and a half? I don't know, there's only one way to find out. Okay then, very simple. We wanna break these down, but I'll tell you what, I think I'm gonna take off the ears. So, I'm just taking the ears off then, because I reckon they'll be a good dish on their own. Crispy pig's ears. Very simple, just boil them until they're soft. Don't take them too far. Take them out, press them, let them cool, brush them with mustard, into breadcrumbs, under the grill. Job is a good one. Right, a pile of ears. So now here we get to the gold. Now I'm thinking to get this in the pot. Well, I, we definitely, well, we'll have the tongues out. They're already half out. So we just get in there and just cut that. And there we have our pig's tongue. We've definitely got to put one of those in to the press where its tongue would be obviously so we're just going to separate them tongue number two and then tongue number three now like i said i've been wanting to do this if i could pull this off it's going to look absolutely epic right now to the gruesome part we are going to split the pig straight down the middle Where's my saw? A little bit gruesome. A lot bit gruesome. Get those brains out. Hmm. Nice work if you can get it. Now, I'm just going to very roughly just cut the cheeks off. I want to put it all in, but obviously I want to make sure I get my meat in. Also those bones, we need it to make that gelatin to set it. So I think we'll go there, and then it's just a case of very easy. I'm just gonna go Cross. Now I hate when the saw hits the boat, uh, the teeth like that. It's horrible. Nice. Can I get that in my pot. If not, just go there. So I'll cut the rest of these pieces up, and we'll be back very shortly. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Okay then, so once you have got your little pig's head cut into very many little pieces, it goes into a big pot, just like that. And as you can see then, I've added some onions, carrots, celery, 
there's some dried thyme in there, some sage and some garlic cloves. So what you need to do then is bring it up to the boil, put a lid on it, turn it down and simmer until the meat is falling off the bones. Don't watch it because it takes a long time. Okay then my friends, this is my second batch of those pig's head. Obviously they are ginormous so I only got two pots. But as you can see then this has been simmering for about three hours. It's nearly time to take the pieces of meat out of here. Then all we need to do then is slide the bones out. They'll pull out really easy. Then we can sort through our meat. All the goodies. Let's have a look at that. Mmm. Okay, my friends, I'm not going to lie to you, this has been a labour of love. It has been a monumental undertaking to fill this with pork. Now, I have no idea if it's set. I've never used it before, but I guess there's only one way to find out, and that is to open it. Let's do it. Right, need to gently ease this. Ooh, hoo, 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 look at that. Oh, the trick is, how do we get it out of here? I haven't got a clue. But obviously, I want it out in one piece. So, I think I'll take a knife. I hope this stays together. And just gently just go round. Maybe put it into some hot water just to melt the fat. I'm hoping I put enough jelly in, enough of that concentrated stock. Good job this knife's blunt. Come on, you beauty. Seems a bit wet there. Have a look at that. Oh my God. It's worked very gently. Just look at that. My God, it's nuts completely made from pig's head but I did have to add a little bit of chicken to pad it out but it's absolutely stunning hey I cannot believe it's worked just have a look at it it's absolutely bonkers here piggy piggy absolutely awesome Right, I'm going to get the camera on it, we'll give it a proper spin round, 360 degrees, and then, I don't know what to do with it, I don't want to cut into it. In fact, I want to keep it as a pet. Oh, nice pet. Well, my friends, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm blown away. I think it's absolutely bonkers. I mean, it's been a labour of love. Like I said, three days I've been on this. Three days boiling heads. I had to add a bit of chicken. But I tell you what, it's worth it just to see that press come alive. I think it's absolutely awesome. Anyway, just to recap, obviously, because you didn't see it all, what we did, we had our pig's heads. We boiled them down with a little core bouillon, which was the carrots the celery and the onions. We boiled it for hours until it was falling off the bone. Took the meat from the liquor, stripped all the meat off, chopped it into chunks or squished it through your hands, 
till you've got this like howl broth. Added some lemon juice, some salt and pepper, some parsley, and then packed it into that press and then just hoped that it worked and it did. Anyway, if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe if you haven't already when my face comes up down here. Also find me on my social media, on my Facebook, I have two pages, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project. Get on there, click the like and follow button. Also on my Twitter, at Scott Reed Project, and please do check out my Patreon page, share the love if you feel like it. The link will be in the description. Also, the original brawn recipe, if you want to see how it's done from the start completely, because obviously we just sped this along for this monumental thing, this behemoth porcine parcel. But until next time, my friends, I'm just going to keep him till he rots. I like him or her. I ain't got a clue. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. All the best. Say bye-bye.